If you're into spy gadgets or surveillance devices, then you're definitely going to like this video. Today I'll be showing you this very cool digital clock that has a hidden built-in video camera with audio. Devices like this are ideal for people that are concerned about loved ones being abused by caregivers, cleaning people that are cleaning you out while they're cleaning your house, bad babysitters, and just being able to keep an eye on your home and pets when you're not at home. You can also observe your sleep cycles at night. Let's take a close look at this gadget, then I'll show you exactly how it works by giving you demonstrations. Now the first thing you notice with this digital clock is that it's fairly small. I could place the entire thing inside my hand. The housing for the clock is plastic, more than likely ABS, and the front panel or the face of the clock is slightly mirrored. The purpose of doing that is to make it much more difficult to see inside so you do not detect the camera that's hidden. To make it easier for you to see inside, I have a polarizing light filter on my camera. So you can see right in the center is that digital display. And right along the bottom, you can see one there. And they run all along the bottom to this point here are 12 940 nanometer infrared LEDs. The purpose of that is to allow you to see what's going on at night. The good thing about using 940 nanometer LEDs, you will not have a red glow when you look at this. Under low light conditions, the infrared illuminators will turn on automatically, and you can see them right here through my smartphone camera. Over here on the far left is where the camera lens is located. When I show products like this, I want to make sure that they do what the manufacturer says. Now the first thing that they claimed is that it's a 1080p. I checked this out, it is not a 1080p. It's a 720p, 1280 by 720, and under good lighting conditions, the video quality is good. You're going to see that later when I give you a few demonstrations. The camera hidden inside this unit has the ability to start recording what's going on when motion is detected, or you can have it continuously record video. The digital clock is a 24 hour clock. That's one thing I'm not too thrilled with, but I can get by with it. Early in the morning after midnight, it's going to say 12 o'clock, 6 a.m., it's going to say 0600. And then when you get to 1 p.m., it's going to say 1300. When you get to 6 p.m., it's going to say 1800. That should not stop somebody from buying one of these. And the reason why I say that is because the price for what this does or allows you to do to find somebody stealing something or doing something they should not be doing for only 32 bucks is an incredible deal. You can use this with your phone through an app so you can be out of your house somewhere far away and access the video on this or you can just have this record the video to an internal SD micro card. Let me turn this around and show you the back side of the unit. You can see the USB port by my thumb and included is this charging cable right here. Plug right in and you can either leave it connected all the time or you can have it powered from the internal 18650 lithium ion cell. Now I did some extensive testing on this unit. The cell that's included with this unit is around 1500 milliamp hours and you can get five hours of continuous recording going with that cell. If you want to be able to do it for longer then I suggest replacing the internal 18650 cell with a much better quality like an LG or a Samsung or Panasonic 18650 that has around a 3400 to 3500 milliamp hour capacity. So to pop the cover off is very simple. I'm going to take a tiny screwdriver, insert it right in that space underneath and pop the cover off. When the cover's popped off, the bottom will tilt out and you can see the two tabs on top. Just pull it down. Right over here is the USB charging and powering port. This is your on off switch. After turning this on, you let it sit for about a minute. Then you're going to go to the app on your phone, which I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes. You're going to make sure this links up. If you have a problem connecting, then you're going to push the button inside this opening for about five seconds with the unit powered on and you're going to wait. If it properly reset, you're going to look inside this opening right here and you're going to see a red LED on. Over here is your SD micro card. Just push it in and it pops right out. You can use up to 128 gigabytes. I recommend using a 32 or a 64 
because it's going to be more than adequate. So I'm going to power this on. Okay. And I put the cover back on this. Put the top first. The clock will become active as soon as it makes a connection with the Wi-Fi. And you can see right here, it's now showing 1226. That's 1226 PM. The good thing about this camera, you do not have to use it with the app. Once it's set, you can just let it record everything onto the SD micro card. After using the camera, at the end of the day, you would pop out that SD micro, insert it into one of these adapters, or just plug it into the side of one of these USB sticks and pop it in your computer to take a look at all the video files. The videos cannot be accessed using this cord. Not only does this digital clock record video, but it also has audio. Once the spy clock is fully charged up and ready to go, the next thing you're going to need to do is install the app called V380 Pro, and you should be able to find that in your app store. There's also a QR code that you can scan that's included in the instruction manual for this product. After you install that app, the next thing is to click on Setup, or Settings, Connections, and you're going to go Wi-Fi, make sure it's on, and you're going to look for something like you see right over here. It's got the strongest signal. Keep it fairly close to the phone when you do the setup procedure. Mine is MV followed by that long number. And for security reasons, I blocked out part of the number. So you're going to click on that. And it's going to be connecting. Okay, so now we're connected. I want to get out of here. And we're going to go to the app. So click on V380 Pro try without an account continue down here it says devices nearby and there it is click connect now that we're connected to the camera we need to switch to the Wi-Fi in your house that you use to access the internet so I'm going to click on that touch confirm hit connect and you only have to do this once and wherever you go if you go on a trip somewhere you can always access the camera in your house very easily using this app on your phone let it finish okay and you can choose a name I'm just going to click home and finish local area network online once you are set up you can go to profile click on settings you could choose the language English go back do settings again it wants you to set a password for privacy to access the camera that's fine choose one and enter it here and then do the same thing there and then you're going to enter it so let me put mine in. Now I'm going to click confirm. Now I have full access. Let me go to settings again. And general says home, password, device time. You can set the time zone. You go all the way down. You have alarm setting. We're going to get to that in a minute. But let's do record setting first. It says continuous record. So you can actually turn that on and off if you want to allow continuous recording and on this setting in the event motion is detected it's going to start recording the file is typically two minutes long and if there's no other movement detected it will not record again this setting you can use to check out your sleep pattern at night to see if you're moving around a lot to see what your animals are doing at night and over here record audio on this does have 1280 by 720 on this setting and this setting is 480 I would not bother using the SD just stick with the HD. So let's go back for a second. Now let's take a look at the alarm setting. You can turn that on. And let's go to alarm period. So here you can have the app notify you if there's any kind of movement by strangers or objects all day, daytime, nighttime, or a custom setting. And over here is your alert area. Here is an image in the room and you can see red indicates the alarm area so if you only want to have the door 
if somebody walks in, give you an alert, you would turn off every single one of these except for the door area. Very simple to do. Once that's done, you click confirm. Let's go back. Advanced settings, let's see what we got here. Not too much here. We can turn it on, push play. And it says SD, I want HD. We're now looking at a live image and at the very top right, you probably can't see it, is going to be your date and timestamp. Over here has audio off. So let me put this on for a second. Testing. One, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. By toggling the speaker icon, you can hear exactly what's going on in the room. And no matter where you're at, you're going to have a live image with the audio. Now, if something's happening, you can go down here and click Take Snapshot. If something's happening, you want to record a video, just click Record, and it's going to save it to the card in your phone. It works extremely well, and you have to realize that the image quality that you're going to get for the money is truly incredible. Like I said, 32 bucks. You cannot expect GoPro image quality for only 32 bucks. When there's movement, there is going to be some strobe effect, and at night, you can see everything that's going on as long as you aim the clock directly at the subject. So if there's an area that you'd like to watch in total darkness, make sure the infrared illuminators inside the digital clock are aimed directly where you want them. You're going to see what's going on. It's not going to be super, super clear as you're going to see, but it's more than adequate to see what's going on. It's going to also be a little grainy because most cameras in low light are going to be grainy. So let's take a look. In this first video clip, you can get an idea of the video quality in the morning, as well as how it performs with people or animals moving around. In the second clip, it's later in the afternoon, it's brighter. You can get an idea of how it looks when a person is moving around. And you're going to see me reappear way down by a shelf. And then I'm going to move off to the right. Video quality, more than sufficient to see what's going on. Here's a look at the video quality outside of a window. I'm holding the clock, so there's going to be a little bit of motion blur. It's designed to be stationary. Here you can see the video quality, sun shining into the room with the lights on. The one thing that you're going to notice when you use this camera is early in the morning before sunrise, and in the evening when the sun sets, the images are going to appear black and white. That's the result of a lack of sunlight and the infrared illuminators activating. The last video clip shows the bed being completely illuminated by the camera in total darkness. And guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.